In a recent interview, a pretty new BC MLA who represents Langford Juan de Fuca gave his thoughts on the always contentious issue of the carbon tax, namely the supposed lack of a continuous position for some politicians. And what we've seen time and time in, again in the legislature this fall is uh, Kevin Falcon following his friends, the Conservative Party, uh, and their positions. And so, um, you know, we have a situation in which uh, the Conservative Party uh, has been very clear around their positioning uh, on the carbon tax. And, and Kevin Falcon has been a little bit of a, a flip-flopper uh, when it comes to the carbon tax. Uh, Ravi Parmer then went on to accuse Falcon of being willing to say anything in order to get elected and also mentioned that it was important for local MLAs such as Ellis Ross to make their stance on this topic very clear so he could hold his boss responsible. In another interview, Ross then went on to give his own thoughts on those particular comments. Uh, number one, I'm flattered to th that the NDP think that I'm in that kind of a position and I have that kind of influence. But number two, this is not hypocrisy. If you, if you want to talk hypocrisy, talk about the NDP opposing LNG throughout their lifetime as the NDP and then approving it once they get into government. Not only that, uh, they actually approve LNG Canada not going with electric drives to reduce emissions, but allowing LNG Canada to use gas turbines. Ross also went on to say that BC United has been accused of looking out mainly for their corporate friends while then pointing out that the NDP once gave out the largest PST tax break in BC history to LNG Canada as an example of their supposed hypocrisy. One of Ross's other statements included a saying that the change in stance was not about them being hypocritical, but trying to reduce emissions. For CFTK TV News, I'm Kale Maslin.